Alright, good morning. It's product review Monday. And we got a bike product review. This bike is no good. That's right, it's no good. It's not sustainable, it's cheap, and when it breaks, it's too expensive to even fix it. So let's take a look. I want to call this a POS bike. You know, it's a Pisa. You get these. Good morning. Real simple, you got the kickstand. So, non adjustable seat there. So, you got. Let, let's just talk about the bad things about this bike, okay? So, you don't have quick release on the front right there. No quick release, so you need to get some. Uh, some real tools to take off your tires. That's great anti-theft prevention, but considering the quality of these, no one's gonna wanna steal them anyways, okay? As for the shifters, you got these old school shifter knobs, okay? They're okay, but the thing is, if they break, you're not gonna fix them back to these. You're gonna get an upgrade. And then why are you gonna spend $60 to upgrade it when the bike was worth about that? Good morning, good morning. Okay. Um, you, the brakes up here, the brakes kind of suck, there's these little, uh, little pads, good morning. There's little pads, and you know, uh, they're not going to last forever, like all brake pads, but you're just not going to want to replace them either. They have the caliper thing there, and uh, again, it's just not replaceable. Now let's talk about the derailleur. The derailleur is a piece of junk. Okay, it just, uh, that if that thing breaks, again, you're gonna have to get a whole new thing. Um, it's, all these parts are not replaceable, good morning, as they are on that like Trek right there that we just saw. So go with name brand bikes, buy it from a place that has a bike shop, that has a bike repair place, that way when it breaks, you can get it repaired. Target and Walmart and those places, they don't have a bike shop, a bike repair place for a reason. So no good, no good, that's the product review.